So today we're going to paint the turtle, right? And we're going to paint it so uh, it has this blue and white stripes. So if I hold it closer, you can see blue pieces. And then I reverse and go back and push the blue off and push the blue on and push and I get stripes. I do not want it to turn baby blue. So how would you get baby blue and white to turn... Um, how would you get dark blue and white to turn baby blue? Scrubbing it. So we're not. We, we we're going to get the whole, t we're going to do it in halvesies. Half is going to be wet. And we'll decorate it wet with white paint. Then we add blue and put these stripes on it. Okay? It's going to be very cool. And you've never done it before. So who feels excited right now? excited well excited and nervous are the same bubbly emotions right it goes away as soon as you start painting it's because your brain is on high alert your brain's like oh my gosh i'm about to learn something or your brain is saying ah, i'm gonna ruin it i'm gonna ruin it it's gonna come out bad none of those are true as soon as you start praying you start uh, painting your brain relaxes right and they're like oh i could do this but you have to wait for that moment when your brain finally like calms down, right? So um, we're gonna, and then we're gonna say black for the very end, and then we'll put the turtle on and we'll paint these little, uh, these are just little uh, circles. They could even be thumbprints with little tiny fins. Super easy. These are little wiggly worms, right? I'm gonna show you that, not hard. Okay, so let's do the background first. Okay, so what we're gonna do, what we're doing is we get the background wet with white, then we add blue. And then we scratch the blue into the white and the white eats up the blue. So pretty. Do you guys see my pencil lines? They're to help our brain because this right there in his tummy is actually the middle of the star. Do you see it? All the lines are pointing, or actually his leg, right? All the lines are shooting out from this middle. This is the middle. So confusing. So that means these would be straight up and down. The ones in the corner point like this. The ones on the side are completely straight. What? It's because we're painting a circle on a square. So your brain's going to get very confused very easy. Okay? But you have to go, oh, well, I have a human brain. Too bad. Right? Oh, well, I have to learn it by doing it. So we're going to find our, find our biggest fluffy paintbrush. And she's brand new. She's never been used before. She's right out of the box. So she's a little bit round and stiff. Kind of hate it, right? So let's just bounce it on our hand and tell her to wake up. There. Oh, she's fluffier. See, just I don't have to kill it. Arr, arr, arr. No, I just poof, 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 poof. Oh, look at she came apart a little bit. She's not as oh, okay. Good. Okay. Oh, I lied. Now that we fluffed her, find your square. Paintbrush. Whoop, where she is. Where she is, she is a little square one. And we're going to outline our turtle with white paint. And you're like, why would I outline it with white paint? It's because it's practiced for one. And then we always land on the white line. And once you outline something, your brain won't let you uh, go past it. So this is only for your brain because we know this about brains. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you how to outline something with a paintbrush. So switch back to this little blue square one. I lied about the big one. I got confused. Okay, so this little square one. And then we don't use the tip of it like this. Scratch, scratch. She's a little too sharp. Actually, I use the flat, smooth side, and I go paint. Paint, like I'm petting. So I have to kind of hold it kind of awkward, and I pet like this. That makes sense. I oh, it's kind of flat. I'm petting, not like this. if I go straight ahead like this, it scratch, it scratches the paint off. I'm like no, no, no. If I lay it flatter and and oh, look how awkward that is. 
Oh, I know. I can hold. I just, oh, I got to get my hand out of the way. So, oh, now I'm petting it on. Does that make sense? So straight ahead like a pencil, all of a sudden you'll go, why is all my paint coming off? Screw it. Oh, I'm doing that thing. Petting. And we'll just switch whenever you realize you did it. Okay. You'll realize when the paint starts coming off. I'm doing that thing. Okay, so let's outline our turtle in white paint. And it seems like a crazy idea, but it's just a brain trick. Okay, and Lucas, um, I can see that you're in an awkward place between your, your um, computer and your painting. Worry about your painting. If I know you're going to miss a step, I can see you and I'll call you to watch. Okay, so you just enjoy painting. Just if you have an awkward setup right there. Okay, so I'm going to get my white paint and I'm just going to stab it. I have to hold mine. You don't have to hold yours. Cause like, right. So I just go, stab! I just get a bunch of paint on there. Stop! Right? But the way that you paint to outline is you go like this and you, as soon as your paintbrush touches the canvas, it goes smash! But I only stare at the one hair on the end and then I outline the Sharpie with that one hair. That is so weird. Watch, I'll do it closer. So I'm gonna start above it. I don't touch the Sharpie yet. Oh, and this is white paint on a white canvas. You're barely gonna be able to see this. So I go smash, and then I sneak down. I sneak, oh, now I touched it. Now I can push my paint. I don't scribble and I don't wiggle because that's for crayons and pens where paint or the color comes out in little lines. This is thick. We're a bulldozer and we get our paint and we push our paint. We don't wiggle our paint. Okay, you wanna see me do it again? Watch, I'll do it some more. Oh, I'll go above the sin and I go smash. I'm above the sin and then I sneak down. Oh, I touched the, touch the Sharpie. Now I push. And as soon as I run out of paint, if I run out of paint, I start crying immediately. No, I just get more paint. Poke. I don't know where the paint is. I can tell when I run out. And then I go up and, oh, the little neck. That's going to be tricky. It's little. And I go above. Can Say it again. Can we touch the Sharpie? Yes, you can touch the Sharpie. I did it in Sharpie on purpose because you can't get rid of Sharpie. You know what I mean? It's so dark. If I painted over it, you would still see it. And then I'm going to go around his neck. And, one, and I just push my paint. Oh, I ran out. Gosh, it only lasts like three inches. And what if I have lumps? I don't care about lumps. We're going to ruin this whole thing doing the background, right? Who thinks it's easier to outline than you thought? Because are we scribbling? Who's scribbling? No. Watch me, Julius. Watch. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go around his side. I touch, I'm next to the turtle, I smash, and then sneak up, oh! My one hair is touching, now I push my paintbrush. Let one hair do all the work. Does that make sense? It's not a scribbly thing. The paint's so thick, we smear it like peanut butter or like, or like frosting. It's not a scribbly thing. Then I get more paint. I still have to, I still have the fin to do. So I'm above the fin. Smash. Now I'm touching. I go under it and sneak up to it. Okay. Who thinks that makes sense? See how you're outlining it? You're like, oh, and do, am I rubbing? No. I just push and let one hair on the edge touch the Sharpie. Sometimes I have to pick up my paintbrush because I miss, but usually I'm just pushing. I stab my white paint and push, staring at one hair. Oh, the tail is tricky. Look, oh, she's a little. And then as soon as it's dry, don't wiggle and try to get more out. Just stab your paint. Stab. Oh, Oh, here I go. I'm going to do the side. Whee! Oh, painting down was way easier than painting up. Because I was going with gravity. And then, oh, what about the head? I have to come back to the head. So I'm above the head. Smash. 
Now I sneak down with my boogie of paint and let one hair. And look at the, how the paint squishes out the side. Do you see that? It's weird. Who's beating me? I'm almost done. I got, I only have a fin done left. Push up your sleeves if your sleeves are down. It's real paint. It'll come off your arms, but not your clothes. I'm just saying that because I spotted somebody with long sleeves. See, I, I pushed all my sleeve up and then I tucked it underneath my little shirt. See, paint. Oh, look how lumpy mine is. It is all lumpy. I don't care. I don't care. Cause I'm, we're just gonna, we're just gonna paint all over this anyway. So you see it up close. Look at, it's like I got lumps. Should I go back and smooth it? No. I just basically what I did is I made a safety barrier to protect my turtle. <laughs> you beat everybody. Okay. Who's, who outlined theirs real good? Who's ready to do the background? You were just, you were just, you were just touching up, huh? Okay, so remember where the middle of the star is? It's by this foot down here. It's very weird. So all, the whole sun, the shine is coming from behind the turtle. So can you see your pencil lines, right? Let's do those first. I'm not scared of how much paint I get. I'm switching to this big paintbrush. Because we're doing the background. And we're going to get the whole background wet before we add blue. So don't freak out on me and go, what? Wait, I'm going to take you there. Okay, so I stab the white. Stab! Oh, how come I got so much? Because we're about to do a lot. You ready? Hey, Lucas, can you push up your sleeves? Push up your sleeves and watch out for those pants. Okay, watch me. Now I'm ready. So you know that I'm going to do it right here. The one that goes into the corner. You see this pencil line right here for the corner? What I'm going to do is, hey, the outline white by the fin, I'm just going to land on it and put and get rid of the pencil. Ooh, flick. <gasps> so I, land, I touched the line I just made. But look how I didn't hurt the Sharpie. Your brain knows. So I land and push off the page. Follow that pencil. Hey, Sophia, do yours upside down. And then you'll paint like this towards you instead. See how far it is to reach? Do yours upside down and it will be the same. Okay, Sophia? It works. Okay. Right, uh-huh. Now let's do another one. But watch me. I'm going to land on my outline that I already put on my turtle. How come? Because we designed it that way. Land and woo off the page. And we're only going slow for this top one. It'll make sense. Yep, big brush. Big brush because we're doing the big outline. Big background. Oh, I see another pencil. Look how the ones in the, in the middle are straight. So now I go, I touch the outline around the turtle. I just land on it. It's like a landing pad. Land, whoosh. <gasps> I'm gonna do another one. I can stab and get more paint because I don't even care. It's a lot. Uh-oh, now they're going towards a corner. Aren't they tilting? Uh-huh. Now I touch it. Oh, there's a big blob by her face. But I land on my outline. And I go, whoosh! <laughs> I'm sorry, ask that again. I know, just painting today. We'll be done at... Uh, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30. Okay, and then what about, oh, on her shoulder, this one goes from the shoulder into the corner. Let me do, bye. There. Wait, don't do all of them. Pause. 
this is acrylic paint and it dries really fast. So how about if we just do the top part and do a really good job and then do a side and then do the bottom like that, okay? So let's do the top. Now, what's in between all my stripe? It's all dry. So I just get more white paint. Now let's go like this and fill it in. But you guys know the word parallel? Where you go next to a line, next to a line, next to a line. So when I go, I just land on the on her fin. I'll go closer so you can see. Now I'm just gonna go in between there. I land and push. Oh, my two paint stripes are touching. Do I care? Oh, look at that lump. Everybody pause and look up. Do I care about that lump? It'll be extra shiny white. I don't care. And I get more white. And I land. I'm sorry? Why did, have a line in the middle, do I paint that? Yeah, so just this top part. Buy pencils. And then I... I and I over... What? Um, the line in the middle Yep, we turn it white. And then I'm overlapping all of my lines like I'm mowing the lawn. And uh, Elise... Elise... Make sure you are not painting the bottom. We're painting the top right now. And then, oh, in between that one, all my stripes are now touching. And the only way that I can tell that I painted it is it's shiny, because it's white on white. Let's see if you can see it. My beauty light is making a shadow. <laughs> or making it too bright. And then I land on her shoulder. Oh, these ones are more straight up, right? Whoosh, whoosh whoosh okay no dry spots solid wet white goodbye all the dry canvas areas now how about next to her head i better go slow am i gonna leave any of this top part uh dry no nice and wet so we can add the blue now i'm gonna go next to her head oh look it's weird they start to bend and tilt in the corner. Do you guys see it? I have to go in the follow that that direction. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Now, I don't care that I have lumps. Those are shiny parts. I don't care. I like it like that. And then, oop. There. Now I've just done the top part like a giant sun. Oh, under his fin. Maybe. Okay. Whoosh. So what did we do? We just, we, wait, class, 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 Andrew, Andrew. Our stripes have to be perfectly straight like this and never side to side. Look what we're making. Let me show you again what we're making. Andrew, look, Andrew, Andrew, you're painting incorrectly. You cannot go side to side. These are perfectly straight stripes. We're going to add blue in the middle. You can't go side to side. They're perfectly straight up and down. And But look what happens when I get to the corner. They bend too. That's why I put the pencil lines. Andrew, I can still see white. I mean, still see it dry. Your whole top has to be wet. In between each one of those pencil lines is also wet with a white stripe. The whole top is wet with straight, straight lines. Oh, that's so good, Andrew. Just like they're straight, they're straight, they're straight. Not side to side. Who's ready to decorate? Wait, make sure it's wet. Look to the side. Is it shiny? Wait, I missed the spot. Or it dried. I'm going to get it. Okay. All right. Now, where's my blue paint? Watch this. I'm going to stab my blue paint. Everybody watch. Even if you're... Oh, Eduardo. Eduardo, please stop painting. We're not doing the side right now. Please stop. We are just doing the top. Andrew, I can still see some dry spots. There is no dry canvas left. All perfectly wet. Andrew. Andrew, watch. I go... Here and 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 I and they're all touching 
and there is all solid wet white do it fast you're behind fast 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 get lots of paint and push 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 lots of paint push 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 there you go that makes sense uh oh Exhibit. don't go side to side we need those straight up and down stripes okay everybody watch you ready watch me okay now i'm going to stab my blue stop painting and look up andrew you'll have to come back to that i'm going to stab my blue stop now i'm going to make a blue frame one poke only and i just wipe it off across the top ew ew ew, ew. there that's all i just got it off my paintbrush it's touching the top of my painting. That's all. One poke of blue. And don't rub it in. We like that it's dark blue in spots. Go ahead, put it at the very tip top. Don't wait for me. You do it. Go, go. Put it at the top. Nope, just drop it off. Drop it off. Okay, now watch me. You ready? Our paint's drying so we can't diddle dally. Okay, now I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna pull this down. Who's ready to watch? If I get a teensy bit on my turtle, it's okay. But everybody stop painting and look up. Stop painting. It's supposed to be dark in places, light in places, and dark in places. It's fine. Watch this, here I go. I'm gonna pull this corner down to her fin. Whee! Stop. Oh, look at it got stripes in it. Should I touch it some more and, and scrub it in? No. Now you do it. Just pull the blue we just put, pull it down. Oh, let's do the other corner. Grab that blue. We're just pulling. Grab, pull this down. Whee! It's by her neck. Whee! Okay. Do not get more blue. Do not get more blue. Where is the blue we're playing with? Right there that we just put. We already put the blue that we're going to pull on. It's on our painting. Okay, now I'm going to go down the center. Right, but right on her shoulder. Whee! There. Do not get more blue. I just yanked on the blue and pulled it down. Eduardo, are you stuck? Just pull that down, whoosh. Okay, and now, okay, do not get blue from your cup. Now I'm gonna go like this and touch, touch, the, touch the line I just did and go off the page and they're touching and then pull back down. Up, down, up. I yank on the blue, and look at I got stripes. What would happen if I touched it twice? What color would I get? Baby blue? Boring? I want stripes. So I pull the blue through the white, and the white through the blue, and the blue through the white, and the white through the blue. And they're all touching. Oh, when it gets to the corner, it's so confusing. And don't scrub it, it's gentle, gentle. Cayenne, Cayenne. Uh, don't get more paint. Just pull the blue we made a frame out of. And there's stripes. Don't scribble. Just pull. Who's afraid to touch your uh, turtle? Don't be afraid. We already told her that she, right? We, we, what if I get uh, blue on the turtle? She's going to be black. Don't get more blue. Just pull on it. Grab the frame and pull it down. And don't scrub because that's just baby blue. Cayenne, do not get any blue from your cup. We just pull on the paint we put at the top. Pull on it. Pull it down. Pull and touch your turtle. Touch your, put the, put the paint behind your turtle. How come we outlined our paint, our turtle in white? So we can land on the white goo. Who's got stripes? 
Evelyn, there's still white between all of your blue. Can you make sure that all of your blinds are touching? So it looks like this, Evelyn. Watch, I just go stripe, 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 and all my lines are touching each other. Okay, now you go. You do it. Because it looks like you just have a few stripes. Yeah, pull, pull, stripe, all the way to the turtle, all the way to the turtle. And then don't touch it twice, one time only. Don't touch it twice. You're scribbling, you're making baby blue. We want the versions of color, right? So you just go, stripe, done. Good job. Pull on it right through the wet white paint and watch it make stripe colors. Good job. Okay, then and make look, everybody look. Make sure you go all the way to your turtle. Oh, I got some on my turtle a little bit. She's gonna be black. The water's behind the turtle, so I have to touch the turtle. Why'd I outline it? So you wouldn't be afraid to touch it, because it's already wet. Ooh, look at this. What about under her fin? Oh, oh. Because where's the center of the of the star right here? Who's ready to try again? You feel like it's good? And Andrew, are the Andrew, are those all perfectly straight up and down? Straight, straight, right? Okay, turn your painting. Everybody look. Cayenne, I still see some parts that are white. Just go like this. Pull the blue down, pull the blue down, pull the blue down, pull the blue down. Fast, fast, fast. Pull, pull, pull. Now, now it looks like, oh, it's the same again. The straight line is by her foot, right? So, but this time we have a little bit of blue in our paintbrush, right? So, oh well, it'll just have a little bit of blue in it. Uh, Evelyn, you didn't finish the top yet. There's still some parts that are white. Yep, you only did half of it. But I think your white paint might be too dry now. Is the whole top wet with white and then you pulled the blue through it? Yeah, we're going to do it again. But now we turned it to its side. And I'm going to stab my white paint. Stab! Watch me. I stab my white paint. Let's do the corners again. So I do the corner. Whee! And pull it towards my turtle. That time you could see it a little better because it had blue in it, huh? Evelyn, make sure you're using plenty of white paint. So, right, it's wet with white paint and you stripe the blue through the white paint. Does that make sense? It's solid white. And then you go blue, blue, blue. But if the white's all dry, it won't work. So you can pretend like you're starting over. Paint it white and then pull the blue through it. Okay, now what about the other corner? I go, okay. Oh, it lands on her side, on her side, right? Whee! And I, oh, I touched the turtle. I know I don't care. But now this is a piece of pie, right? And then, oh, do you just stab your paint and go, uh-huh. So I just stab my white paint. I go, oh, what about the up and down one? There, now I got three. I got one, two, three. Who has more pencil lines than three? Right? It's almost like those are pieces of pie and we paint them in white. Right? So now my painting, look at look at what my turtle's doing. She's flying, she's swimming down because I tilted my painting. Okay, now let me get it solid white. Okay. How much white is it? A lot. I don't care. So I stab my white. Oh, <gasps> and I'm just gonna do a straight line, just follow the lines I just did. I just go, I touch my turtle, and I go up, 
and then I put a line next to that one of white paint and I get paint every time so it's nice and thick. Stab the paint, make a line. Stab the paint, make a line. Oh, weird. Somehow when I get in the middle, it becomes straight. Eduardo, turn your painting. We turned our painting so we could do a new section. Turn your painting so your turtle's swimming away. Yep, it doesn't matter which side because we're doing all four sides. Simya, Simya, we're on the next side. Don't decorate anymore. We're on the next side. I don't want you to get behind. Okay, oh, now I'm going to go, oh, I'm in the middle. Those must be up, up, up. Oh, so the ones in the corner, they definitely are tilted. The ones in the center are straight up and down. So weird. Wait, wait, wait. More white paint. I touch her foot. I go up. No, 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 no. I know, I know. I'm going to do it this way. I like this better. Everybody pause and look up. Watch. If I start from the corner, corner up. From the turtle up. Ooh, lump of paint. Don't care because it's to be really bright white. And then I go in between each one of those, push, 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 up, up. Now it's sopping wet with white. Can you see how shiny mine is? Can't see it because of my beauty light, but it is solid wet white. But how, did I scribble like this side to side? No, I went straight off the page. Straight off. And I'm not afraid to touch my turtle. It's going to be black. Zemya. 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 Please stop painting. You need to do the next part. You're a whole section behind. We're doing the top part now. Okay. So we're painting it white. White, 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 white. You keep painting this part. We already finished it. We're painting the next section. We're doing the whole painting. And now we tilted it like this so we could do this section. Okay, don't keep painting the top. Is it sopping wet? Okay, now what happens? Lelia, is it wet all the way across? Is I can see dry spots, Lelia. It's still dry. Your paint is still dry. In between each one of those is also wet. Look, look at me, Lelia. What? There's no dry spots. It's solid wet. I need you to wet your painting with white paint. Okay, now watch me. I'm going to stab my blue. Everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. Stab! Oh, I only get one poke of blue, and I'm going to wipe it across the top. Ew! Boop! Should I rub it in? No. What's going to happen to that blue? It's going to become water in our wet paint. I gave you so much white paint, it's enough to paint two of these paintings white. So you're not using water. If you use water, it will destroy your painting and leak water down the front of your painting and erase all your paint. Okay, now I'm going to go like this and get my, uh, get my blue paint and I'm going to pull on it. And I just bump into the turtle. Here I go. Everybody watch. It's still some on my paintbrush. I don't care. I go, wee, bump. Now I'm going to do one next to that. Wee, done. Should I touch it one more time? No, I'm sliding the blue through the wet white. Whee, I'm pulling the blue down. Pull the blue, pull, oh. Now I get to the middle and it becomes straight. That's so weird. I'm pulling. Do I get more blue to do this? No, I pull. Pull, pull. I painted it solid white so it would be nice and slippery to pull the blue paint through. And then I pull, boop into her toe. Oh, she doesn't have toes. She is a flipper. My painting moved. There. And then I touch the top. 
Oh, now I'm going to start from the other corner. Look at me. Everybody pause. I'm going to go from the corner pull, corner pull, corner pull, and all my stripes touch because water touches itself. It's not scared. Now I have stripes. And then look at my different colors of stripes. Sometimes my colors of stripes are dark and sometimes they're light. And I, what if I get some on my turtle? So turtle's gonna be black anyway. The water's behind my turtle. And do we scribble up and down? No scribbling, Eduardo and Andrew. We just pull in perfectly straight stripes. We just go like this, and if you already did it, go like this, straight, straight, straight. Because you're just making baby blue. Don't touch it more than once, it just becomes baby blue. Nice. Wait, tuck it in, tuck, tuck, touch your turtle. Hide the, hide the water behind your turtle a little bit. Okay, okay, I'm not scared. Yeah, sneak it, sneak it up there, sneak it, cause it is sharpie. So I can't, you can't really cover up sharpie with paint anyway. Hey Andrew, Andrew, you have a bunch of unpainted surface. One side is blue and one side is dry. Do you see this big cup of white that I gave you? It's because you're painting the entire background white first, then you add blue. It is solid white. Okay, now I'm gonna change, now, now I did this, turn your painting like this and flip it another way. Now we have another piece of pie. And there's straight lines, how come? Look at mine. There's straight lines coming out. Look at, ooh, that one's a dark piece. Neat, that's a pure white piece. Oh well, that's a, ooh, that's a medium piece. That's a dark piece. Don't care, but what are all my lines pointing at? All the lines point at the, at the turtle, right? So no side and side, you land and pull, and land and pull, and land and pull. Now pick a new side. It doesn't matter which one, because we have to do all of them. And now my paintbrush is dirty, but I don't care, because I add white on it. I get I get it wet with the white. Right? And then I put the blue on it. Okay. So I turn a new corner, new part, and I stab my white. And I go, okay, from this corner. Whee! And bump into my, oh, you can see it because it's had blue, the dirty paintbrush. Yeah. Now, Andrew, everybody stop and watch. Everybody push pause. Everybody push pause. Don't paint. I want to watch, show you how I do it. I'm doing it slow for you, but watch this. Watch me do it from here to here. And then should I stop? No. And I just get more paint and do the one next to that. And I get more paint and do the one next to that. And I get more paint and do the one next to that. I am making the entire background wet with white paint. The white paint is gonna make baby blue. And I don't stop till I do the whole piece of pie. Uh-oh, I, I was doing it upside down. I have a whole bunch of dry pieces. Oh, I missed a spot there. I missed a spot there. That was hard to do it upside down. There, but straight lines, right? Oh, I missed my turtle leg. Let me get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Now what about from the other corner? Very tricky. Now I'm pulling from the corner to my turtle. Pulling, pulling. Okay, from the corner. Whee! And what if your two, what if your pieces touch? It's all gonna be the same color when it dries. Stripes of blue. So I get more white. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Stripe, 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 stripe. 
And what, why do we practice making straight lines when we put the white on? We could put the white on like this, but what are we actually doing when we put the white on? We are practicing making the stripe part. So if we're getting it wet with white, which seems so dumb when you could just scribble it on. But we're actually telling our brain, oh yeah, if we stay in stripes, I can teach myself with the white paint. So when I do it in blue, it makes more sense with my brain. So they're long stripe, long, not scribblies. That's for crayons and markers and colored pencils. So long stripe until the whole thing is solid white. There's no dry spots. Okay, who's ready for the blue? How come it's going faster? Because we've done it before and our brain's like, yeah, lady, I already know. Okay, so now I stab the blue step. And where does the blue go? In my mouth? No, across the top, like I'm making a frame and I just wipe it off so I can play with it. Wee! There. Get off my paintbrush. There. But now I push and pull towards my turtle again. And what am I rooting for? I'm rooting for stripes. So I get blue stripe, white stripe, blue stripe, white stripe, blue stripe, and they're all touching like I'm mowing the lawn or vacuuming. Okay, now I pull from the corner. Wait, wait, should I touch that again? If I touch it again, I won't get those cool stripes. One touch. Then I go right next to that so I'm touching it. Look, Andrew, the next one is going to be touching the line I just did. Oh, they're best friends holding hands. And then the next line, and then the next line, and then the next line, and then, oh, now I'm standing, oh. Once I get to the middle, it's so weird because it gets straight again. How does it do that? Weirdo, weirdo, it's a circle inside of a square. That's why, so weird. Okay, Kyan, are you pulling the paint? Pull the, put the, where's the, wait, Kyan, where does the blue paint go? Across the top, so you can pull on it. Oh, Andrew, that's looking right, that's looking good. Can you go and find all the other triangle pieces that don't have any blue of them and make those stripes? Yes, I knew you'd understand it. It's so weird how the brain is. Your brain has to see it, then understand it, because that's what kind of brain we have on Earth. Okay, Kion, now pull that down and bump into the turtle. Am I afraid to touch the turtle? Not really. Who feels like their paint gets dry? Put a little white on it. White can be like our water. It can't hurt nothing. And then pull, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. <gasps> All the lines touched each other. Can I go back to where I already visited? No, it's all dry. Hey, uh, Sandice, Sandice, turn your painting so the part you're doing is always up. So turn your paint. Yes, turn it. Now watch, see how it will make more sense? It is a piece of pie, paint from corner to the, to the turtle, pull like this. When you do it from the side, it's really awkward, but now just go pull, 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 right? That's why we turn our painting, because it's easier for our brain. Nice. Oh, Andrew's almost done. Are you beating me, Andrew? What? Evelyn, I see a little piece that didn't get very much blue. Can you just decorate it a little bit? See a little part by her tail? She's a little bit lighter. Just with whatever's left on your paint paintbrush, just kind of put it on her, put it on her um little bit. What yeah, just a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. And if it acts dry, put some more white on it. Excuse me? Yep. You are frozen. I'm frozen. Yeah. What if I jump up and down? Will that help and yeah. freeze it? No. Can you hear me though? Yeah. I don't know. I can I can see you guys. I don't know. But you can hear me. Okay. So turn your painting. Who has one section left? Are you all done and you're just bored waiting for me? 
I have one section left, so what part has to be at the top? The unfinished section, so I flip it upside down. And I got a dirty little blue paintbrush, and I don't even care. And I stab my white, and I just go from the corner to my turtle. Oh, I'm gonna do the other corner too, because I like doing the corners first, and then and then pull from the corners. I don't know, I like it best like that. And then I'm gonna do this corner. Whee! Oh, I touched the part I already did. So, it's all gonna be blue and white. And then, more paint. Pull. Oh, I didn't have enough. It got all dry. I hate that. More paint. And then, pull towards my turtle. The next row touches that one. More what? Gosh, you have to stop and get white a lot. Then pull, 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 pull. Under his, under his wing. Under, under, his, under here. Don't forget about under this part. What's it called? Flipper. Forgot. Okay. And then I, I land from the top and pull and pull. Oh, it's all dry. I need more paint. And then pull, 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 pull. Easier to see with a dirty paintbrush, huh? Because not pure white anymore. I am done with Okay, then you're resting. Nice. And then, I, who did that faster than before? How come? Because you done it. Zemya. 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 Turn yours so that the white part's at the top. Flip. Flip your painting. Yes. It's way easier to pull down with your brain than pull to the side. Does that make sense? I like the way how mine is panning out. Is it? What, do you see when it starts to dry that the dark, it gets dark light, dark light, dark light, dark light? And it wasn't yeah. like that before. But when it dries, it is. And then, Evelyn, 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 flip yours over and do the upside down part. You have one section left. Yay. And what if you have to paint over a section you already did? So, and then I'm going to stab my blue. Where does my blue go? I'm going to drop just at the top because it's all wet. I have to get it all wet with white first. Then I go, wee, and now I'm gonna pull. Pull it from the corner, pull it down, and oh, I touched my turtle, is that bad? No, because the water's behind the turtle. I like some part, look at where I put it on super thick with white. And when it dried, I can totally see it. And then here must have been a glob of blue, and I love that too. And then here's a part that's darker blue than the other parts, and I like that too, because that's what water does. So how many color values do you need for 3D? Three, dark, medium, light. And then pull from the corners, pull from the corners. And then the middle is what? Boring straight. But the corners are the most interesting. And then when you're done, you stand it up and you look at her. Like if I touch it, I have to stay with the stripes that are in order, right? I can't, I can't go side to side. I'm going with the stripe I made, with the same direction. And they shine out from it, right? They shine out. They shine out from the turtle. Hurry, hurry, Evelyn. Get it sopping wet with white so you can add your blue. You're behind a step. I don't want you to miss out.
And then, is your water touching your turtle? Look at mine. I got, oh, look at, but at least it's touching the turtle. Right? Oh, I think I cut off a fin right there. I'm going to have to draw that with my black paint. But, oh, see how you can still see the Sharpie a little bit? Even though I got some on him. What if it's too blue? You're painting and it's too blue. Could you just add some white? Yeah. And the stripes are going out from the turtle. Out from the turtle. Out from the turtle. And the corners go what? To the corners. To the corners. To the side. Top and bottom. Yes. Is it, send these. Question? Are you asking me about the little paintbrush? We're not ready for it yet. That's all. I could barely hear you. I think. Oh, say, say D's. Okay, say D's. I think I knew a girl named San D's, so I messed you. I messed up your name. If you're done with it, you just rest, right? Because the more you paint on it, the more you keep changing the colors, and you're like, whoa, right? Who's ready to decorate? Me, 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 me. Okay. So the next part, we're gonna let turtle dry and calm down, right? So what happens to the bottom? What are these? I don't know. Uh these are uh, seaweed or coral or seagrass, right? Does that make sense? I just want to show you how to make it. Okay, so I have a paper plate. Oh, and now put the lid on white and put the lid on blue. And if you have any leftover, you can decorate some rocks or something. Because what is the rest, for the rest of our painting, we use what? Blick. Oh, you help yourself. Go right ahead. You're at home. Just rush back so you don't miss anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, water or our cup or something. Okay, when you're now that your blue is drying, who's got dark areas? Who's got light areas? Who's got medium areas? 3D. But was it like that when we were painting or did it slowly become that way? You know why? Because white paint is floating in white gel that turns clear like Elmer's glue. So you paint it all white and you're like, mine looks bad. It's all baby blue. Then it dries. The white paint disappears like Elmer's glue and just leaves the blue. I know. It's weird, but that's what white paint does. Sophia, question? Oh, the kid gets real far away. Can I go wash my hands? Now, nah, wait till the end. Wait till you play with the black. It's going to get worse. It comes off with water, so just wait. Okay, who's ready? I'm ready. So we need this big paintbrush, and you once we what, clean it, once we uh, use it for black, we can never touch the. the this blue part again, right? Because we'll just ruin it. So I'm going to get a paper towel. I just need one. And there's a lot of paint in here. And I don't want it on there anymore. So I just put my paintbrush inside the napkin and fold it over. And then I squeeze it really hard. And I pull. And all the paint comes out. Look at how much paint it was holding. I know. But look how much drier my paintbrush is. You don't have to twist. You just literally fold it over, pinch, as soon as you can, and pull the paint out. And now look, almost powder. That's how good it works. Because if we left that glob of white hiding inside there, it would have made our black turn gray. Right? So we just got rid. Just bye. Got it here. Okay. So stand it up. Stand up, turtle. 
So now we're going to make the black bottom. So look at my black bottom. It's one finger big, right? Why did it get bigger? I, it's only supposed to be one paintbrush big because afterwards I made a few bumps for rocks. Okay? So I get my black and I, and I don't have to fluff my paintbrush. Being smooth is nice. So it's fine. And I just poke my black. I don't stab my black like I'm mad. I just need some. Don't be a spaz like when we were doing the white and we needed a whole bunch. We just need some. So I touch the black, poke, and I got some. Can I get some more when I need it? Yes. But if it was a whole bunch, it'd be dripping everywhere. Now, I'm going to go right and I'm going to pick up my painting. You're not going to pick up your painting. But it's only one finger big. What? So it's literally one paintbrush big. I'm just going to paint the very bottom of my painting black. It's not very cute. It's a straight line. It's so boring. I can't stand it. Now I have a black frame. Boring. I just push and pull and I make sure it's, oh, look at the blue at the bottom. F. That's not rocks. I got to get down. Okay. Oh, blue's still showing. Ah, ah. Get out of here, blue. There. Okay. I don't want to look at any blue on the bottom. I'm going to make a black. And what? Wait, don't worry about that. Nope. Uh, like la Lalea. La la Leave it. We'll make it a fish later. It's the ocean. Don't rub it in. Eh, who cares? We'll make a fish. Right? Who made a black stripe along the bottom? Wasn't that easy? But you know what? Is the bottom of the ocean perfectly smooth? No? Can we put a few lumps and bumps? Not very big. Because we like the way the water looks. So I'm going to poke. I'm holding mine so you can see it, right? Otherwise it looks too far away. So, oh, watch out for M's. M, 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 M. No, it goes like this. It goes, I, I, it's like a, like a roller coaster. Ride the roller coaster, fall down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, oh, whoa. There. Now it looks weird. No perfect, sir. wait, watch, watch. Everybody pause. This is what I want you to avoid. Matching circles. It looked like this. Don't go M, 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 M. No. It's weird. Uh, like, like your arm is broken. And then they won't be perfect bumps. It's the, under the sea. It's not clouds all wavy. It's not like that. They're, I am a rock. I am a rock. I am a rock. But now how big is it? Two fingers. One finger was for the flat, second finger was for the bumps. And are, but are under the sea, are they round or are they kind of squared off? Because it's all rockety. I'm a rock. Yeah. Earthquakes down there and stuff. Not bumps like those. River rocks are nice and round, right? Because they get tumbled in the water in the river. Okay, set big paintbrush down. And now I want to show you how to do a, oh, oh, who's got this little square one with white paint on it? Did I forget to tell us to clean it? Let's get a paper towel. But don't, don't pinch too hard on these. I already broke one. Just get the extra white off. What was I thinking? There. Okay. <laughs> I just set it on my table without cleaning it. Okay, smooth and flat, clean. Okay, but I'm now I'm gonna use my itty bitty just born baby paintbrush. Oh, it'd be perfect for my makeup, <laughs> right? But this I'm gonna show you how how coral goes. Okay, this is how all plants grow. So do you guys know about DNA? Right, DNA actually grows in a spiral like this. Do you know plants grow in a spiral? They do not grow straight. They actually spin while they grow. Who knew that? You can see it under slow motion cameras, but they spin. So let me show you. Everybody pause, even if you're busy, no, no looking away. 
I don't want to call you by name, but stop painting. Eduardo, I can't see you. He leaves. <laughs> okay, so he's going to miss this one, I guess. Okay, so this is how you make, I get black paint. I'm just going to demonstrate on a paper plate. This is coral. Everybody, don't, don't look away. I only have one painting, okay? So coral goes like this. I'm a squiggly worm, okay? But watch. I, on the bottom, on one side, I let her have a baby squiggly worm. Baby. Then I go to the other side and give her another baby squiggly worm. Like small. And then I, I like I'm climbing to the right, to the left, to the right. Coral. Can I show you one more time? Oh, I touched the blue paint, not the black paint. Should I get mad or just do better? Just do better. I'm going to clean my paper. Whatever. Life. Okay. Black. Okay. So, let me show you again. Okay. So, and how big are these? They're, they're just, I'm making it big so you can see, but they're, so I go wiggly worm. Everyone can make a wiggly worm. Then, I climb the wiggly worm. I start on the bottom and I give her a baby wiggly worm. And then I go to the other side and make another wiggly worm. And I go to the other side and make another wiggly worm. And I go to the other side and make another wiggly worm. And I make another wiggly worm. But I go to the right, to the left. Wait, look, they can't touch. It'll make a W. So you always have to go a little higher. Does that make sense? Right? No, you can't go like this so they both stick out the same spot. You have to go a little higher, a little higher, climb. Okay, watch. Now what if I put one, everybody pause and look up. Don't do it yet, watch me. Wouldn't corals have more than one branch? What if I stuck out, oh, I give her another big one. Then I give her a wiggly worm, a wiggly worm, a wiggly worm, a wiggly worm. Then I jump out the other side, whoop, and give her a wiggly worm, wiggly worm. So how do you keep a paintbrush small? Do you push really hard? Or you do do it really soft. The harder you push, right. The harder you push, the bigger your paintbrush. So if you'd like them to be tinier, you have to do it so you can't feel it. Does that make sense? You can't, you won't be able to feel it. You just do it, so you just watch it super soft. Okay, wanna try? Me and you together, me and you together. So I get the black stab. I just stabbed the black because it's a teensy tiny paintbrush and she could barely hold enough paint anyway. No, not the square one. Itty bitty just born one. Who has the born? Do you have a square one or a teeny tiny one? Who has a teeny tiny one? Nod. Who has a little square one? The square one's really good for filling in the turtle. But teeny tiny just born one, it's good for this. Watch this. Okay, let me hold it. Okay, I'm just going to pick a spot. I, oh, upside down paintbrush also works. You know why? Holding it straight ahead makes my paint makes me push on my paintbrush like a pencil, and it opens too much. Ugh. So if I hold my paintbrush a little bit upside down, I won't push on my paintbrush so hard. So watch me, everybody. Watch. Don't look away. Wiggly worm, wiggly worm, wiggly worm. Then so even softer, I give my wiggly worm a wiggly worm. Then I go higher on the other side. Wiggly worm. Then I go higher on the other side. Wiggly worm. Well, that can't be it. I mean, can, that's just, she looks like, who's seen um, Little Mermaid? If I only put one, it looks like one of those trapped people. <laughs> right? No. Let's make a coral. So now I'm going to put a bigger branch sticking out. Oh! And then I make a wiggly worm for you and a wiggly worm on that side and a wiggly worm and a wiggly worm and a wiggly worm. I did that one so soft. That's the tiniest I've ever done. I must have barely been touching it. <laughs> I was so soft. Wait! Now it just looks like some dead tree. I hate it. I'm going to make one come out the middle. I'm just decorating. I'm going to make one come out the middle. Woo! Okay. Wiggly worm to the right, to the left, to the right, to the... Okay. Better. Be better? The one when it had two sticks was kind of like, mm -hmm. you want to try one? So who thinks your very first one is going to be your ugliest one? Because this is earth and we only learn by doing. So give yourself permission to make an ugly one. 
your second one will be better. Okay? Can I do more with you? I'm going to stick it six in a, a teeny tiny, 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 tiny paintbrush, Andrew, huh? So tiny. Upside down paintbrush. I'm going to sneak up to my rocks. I'm going to pick a new spot. Wiggly worm, wiggly worm, wiggly worm. All right. And then I give it permission to have a wiggly worm, a baby wiggly worm on the very bottom. Then I jump to the other side and put one on the other side and then the other side. Wiggly worms. Love it. Oh, S's. No, don't say S's because you'll draw an S. It just means wiggly worm. But I don't like it when there's only one because it makes me think of the sad mermaid people. So I put another one. Okay, so now I'm going to make a branch sticking out of my branch so it won't be in a sad. I just go, I stick it out. Oh, that's straight. I wanted it to be more wiggly. Mm. Wiggly worm to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Oh, like I'm climbing. Those weren't very wiggly. Oh, let me show you something new. Everybody watch this. Who wants to see how to make seagrass? Because it's easier. Watch, you can only slick up because we want pointy tops. Everybody pause and look up. Layla, look, watch. Layla. I know I'm saying it wrong. Watch. Okay, I touch and flick up. Up, 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 up. And they're all attached from the same spot. That's grass. Can I flick down? Everybody pause and look up. Let me show you what it looks like. Don't paint. Let me show you what it looks like when I make a mistake. Watch me, Sophia. Land and pull down. What is that now? Because why? Your paintbrush opens. So we flick up, flick up, flick up, and we know they'll be pointy. Now I have no idea what this weird thing is. Look at what I made. I better do something to that. It looks terrible. I don't know what kind of monster it is. Okay, there. I turned it into something. I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to show you that if you pull down, it's too big. So we always land and flick up. Land and flick up. Does that make sense? So they're pointy. Pointy. You can't go, hmm, hey. They're too fat. Who wants to try more wiggly worms? Are you done? You're beating me? Okay. Oh, look at the space. I have space. Now I can decide, do I want a wiggly worm? Do I want seagrass? Oh, what about a teeny tiny sea anemone? Up, 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 up. Oh. I see an enemy. <laughs> Clownfish. Teensy. Okay, now I'm going to make another wiggly worm. Wiggly worm, wiggly worm, wiggly Oh, that's, that's kind of big. I did not want it that big, but whatever. <laughs> wiggly worm. One side, wiggly worm. Oh, those are so big. I better put a bunch of wiggly worms on them. Ooh, I don't like it. Yes, uh, Elise, Eliza, Elise. <laughs> Elise. Ale Elise. Okay, wait, yes? I didn't hear it. I don't, it, I can see you're, you're unmuted, but I don't, I can't hear it. Sorry. Oh, there. There it is. What'd you say? I got shells. Oh, shells. That's curious. How fun is that? Getting creative. And then now I'm going to have to make wiggly worms on wiggly worm to the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, wiggly worm to the right. Up, up, up. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Oh, that's, oh, oh, oh. I don't like this one. I want to, I don't like it. Look how thick mine came out. I'm all sad. I must have pushed really hard with my paintbrush. Should I be mad or should I just move on and do better? Okay, once we have the... Oh, I want more seagrass. Seagrass, seagrass. Up, 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 up. Uh, <laughs> I made a seagrass. Let me make another patch. Seagrasses are like... They, they live in little patches. They're like little tiny little poofs. Now, what happens when we do the other side? 
How do we do the rest of them? Look, look, every pause and look up. How much room did we have between our turtle and the ground? A lot. When I go like this, how much room do I have? Your coral and your grass needs to get smaller or you're gonna end up grabbing onto your turtle. So when we turn the corner, the sides and the top, look at between the top and the turtle, it's very little. So we learn on the bottom where we have lots of room, but when we turn it into a side, we make miniature, little, 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 little corals. But wait, I have to put the ground for them to grow out of. How easy is that, black paint? One stripe of black paint. And then a few rocks. Because who really cares about rocks now? Nobody. Because the coral is more fun. So I, I'm not going to get all excited about my rocks. I just kind of go, um, bump. You can have a bump and you can have a bump. And then I don't care because I get to put coral. So don't care. And how skinny is it? Look, 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 one finger. But not perfectly straight because spring... And then now I get to make coral. Who who feels good about their coral already? How fast did you learn that? I know. What a good brain you have. What about jellyfish? Can I show you jellyfish at the end? Because I worry people make 50 million jellyfishes and then we like the blue background and the whole thing starts to become black because we over decorate it. Let's just do the, 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 the frame, okay? And then on the sides, how many do I have to put? Not very many. One, 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 right? I don't need very many. So I go, oh, I don't know, coral. Woo, wiggly worm, wiggly worm, wiggly worm, wiggly worm. But they're like babies. They're just born. Cause I don't want to touch my turtle. I keep him short. And then some seagrass. That's always fun for me. And a little itty bitty seen an enemy. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I, with my tiny paintbrush, I can make miniature rocks. A rock. <laughs> no, nobody cares about rocks. I won't make rocks. Okay, and then wiggly worm. It's always one big wiggly worm with a whole bunch of wiggly worms sticking off, right? And then are they straight like a tree? No. Why are they wiggly worms? Because of the water moving. Wiggly worm to the right, wiggly worm to the left. And every time I go higher up, oh, I don't love it. I need to decorate that one more. That one can't. Oh, look at yours. Oh, look at it. You, you went ahead and made the um, jellyfish, didn't you? You couldn't wait. You couldn't wait. Okay, now I'm going to go and put um, uh, more of these little things on there. Because maybe my wiggly worm, my little baby ones need more. Oh, I'm doing it so soft. Look at that one. That You couldn't even get it that skinny. I couldn't even feel it when I did that one. What? Okay, more. And seagrass. See? Up, 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 up. Okay, okay. And then, okay, I don't have to fill it all in, right? Just some, just some. And wiggly worm, wiggly worm. And then, do, did anybody accidentally make any Vs where your wiggly worms actually touch? We don't do that, huh? We always make sure that they don't touch. You know what I would do? Does anyone have glitter glue? They have glitter glue at the, at the dollar store, right? So if this was dry, like tomorrow, you could get glitter glue and mix it with some water so it's not so thick and Put glitter glue shimmers on it in your water. I'm just saying. Because that's something I would do. Can you go all the way around even when you're done? Can you flip it and put another another uh, side? Look at mine. Everybody pause and look up. Just keep 
turning it and keep going. But look how skinny it is. It's only, it's not even one finger. Just keep your ground very skinny so we don't crowd our turtle. You're beating me. I'm getting jealous. You guys are going so fast. I want to be done like you guys with wiggly worms. Ew, look at that one. I did that one wrong. All my wiggly worms are touching each other. Let me make some of them longer because that was, I don't know what I was making right there. And then some seagrass. And then flip. Who's on their third side? Andrew, flip it. How can we flip it? Because it's easier to grow from the bottom. Look how awkward it'd be trying to pull from the side. Not as good. So I get my big paintbrush and then paint the rocks. One little skinny paintbrush stick with some little bumps for rocks. That's all. Because it's better with seagrass and stuff. Rocks are boring. Okay. Then... I'm gonna try not to touch my turtle's head. Keep him short, short, short. Wiggly worm, wiggly worm, wiggly worm. And then my wiggly worm has wiggly worm. Oh, this one's coming out huge. <laughs> Didn't I just say to be small? I don't even listen. And then my wiggly worms get a wiggly worm, get a wiggly worm, get a wiggly worm. I don't love it. Am I going too fast? And then wiggly worms. Look how I'm not putting enough paint. See how it's all see-through? I'm gonna put more paint so it's not so see-through. Oops, you can't see. There. That's better. I don't think you can see through coral. So I wanted to make sure I put a little extra. And then teeny tiny paintbrush, coral, coral. Seagrass is my favorite because they're super easy and way faster than coral. There. Maybe they're sea trees and not coral. I don't know. I watched uh, all of the fun movies and stories and I never saw. Never? Okay, I did that one super fast because I don't have to decorate it very much because nobody cares. And then, flip, I have one left. Who's beating me? You're jealous of me. You're jealous of me. But look at this is the long side though. Oh. I'm done. No, you can't be done. I'm the fastest and the bestest. I'm done. Oh. I'm right behind your tail. What? Oh, I got muted. How does it mute itself? Boop. Okay, now, now I'm gonna make little bumps. Okay, oh. Who's already done all of the around the edges already? Hey, Sophia, did you put a, 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 a rocks first? I see your corals, but can you put a little stripe of black around the edges too with your bigger paintbrush? So I just go, I have a slow, just a, a little black frame. Can you do that? So your corals have something to grow out of. Just a, just a little bit. Yeah. Who? I'm going to pause for one second. Everybody pause and look up. Um, I know you're making corals, but some people are doing their turtle already. Can I show you turtle just in case? So everybody push pause. So teeny tiny paintbrush is best for outlining right? But you remember how to outline with paint? We smash our paintbrush, which makes it open, and only stare at the one hair that you would like to be smooth. The whole turtle's black, so nobody cares what the paintbrush does, right? And I just go, let me do it up close so you can see, but I can sort of see it. It's a little bit messed up, but I just go, I land in the turtle, smash! Now, yeah, because the turtle's going to be black, and I sneak up, and I say, bye to the oh so where was my paintbrush the whole time outside the turtle or inside the turtle 
inside. So I, if I want to do it again, I get more paint and I smash and then I sneak up. Okay, one hair from the inside of the turtle made the outline. But smashing my paintbrush makes the line big, right? But I don't mind if it's big if I'm only staring at the one hair that touches the water, right? Okay, once you have the outline, look at this. Big square paintbrush fills it in really good. Everybody pause and look up. I just want to show you this before you beat me off. And then once I have a really good outline, how easy it is to fill it in with the, with the square paintbrush. Right? Okay. But it, a perfect outline is most important. Nice and slow. So I land inside the belly. Smash. Sneak up to the Sharpie. Push my paint. Do I wiggle paint to outline? No, I do not. You'll make me have a furry... A uh, turtle. So I go and use your wait. Don't use the big paintbrush to fill it in. Eczema, egg, um, eczena, ex, ex, eczena. No, I'm messing that up. Use your use your little square paintbrush to fill it in. I worry that the big paintbrush is too big. I bet you could do it. Just go very slow near the edges. Very slow. I worry. Wow, when I run out of paint, the edge is so dry and see-through. I gotta stop and get paint more often for a smooth edge. Way better. It only lasts like two inches, right? And then it turns dry. So I land in her wing, smash, then push. I don't wiggle, I just push, because paint is smooth. Please use this, stop painting, stop. Use the little blue square one to fill in the turtle. The big one's too big. That's how it's messing up. I get paint and I'm so, I push my paint. There it is, There, that's a smooth line. How come? I did not wiggle. I, I have an outline. Andrew, outline it first. Watch me, Andrew. I'm gonna land, watch me, Andrew. Andrew, stop painting. I'm gonna, watch. I land and push. I make a smooth outline before I fill it in. Once you have an outline, easy to fill in. You won't go outside the lines, but you need a nice, thick. Wait, watch, watch, watch me, Andrew, watch. It, it, it doesn't last very long because it's such a tiny paintbrush, but you smash from inside the fin. And that's why it's smooth because there's so much paint. If it's not enough paint, you start going like this, which will make it furry. Okay, we don't, we just get stab the paint and push. And as soon as it runs out of paint, you get more paint. Stab the black and push. Oh. Andrew, perfect outline. Your, your turtle is actually bigger than the water. Right? Can you see your outline at all? Look, Andrew, watch. She has, it's a ha it's a rainbow tummy. Right? And it's rounded. Okay, and don't be afraid to make her bigger if you can't see the outline. I'd rather have a big turtle than a turtle with, turtle with fuzzy edges. Who's still, who's making coral? I stopped and made turtle because I was worried some of you were going to do it without me. I have to make more coral. You guys are beating me. Wiggly worm? Wiggly worm. Oh, who's done? Nice. Wait, who needs fish? I need fish. Okay, watch me. Everybody push pause. Here's fish. Watch this. Everybody, don't, don't look away. Watch me. I'm, don't paint. I'm going to get my finger. Fingerprint. Not the tip, but the big round flat part. Just a couple, right? And then what does she need? She needs little fins. Dash, dash, tail. 
Who wants to see that up close? That was too far away. Fingerprint. Maybe I'll put one more. You know they eat fish. She's probably chasing these fish. Uh, right here. Fingerprint. Nice big fingerprint. Right? And then I go, oh. Well, she would like, and their fins point backwards. They point behind them. See turtles point behind them? So I go behind, behind, and then smash my paintbrush for a tail. Did you, did I, uh, that wasn't in screen? I wasn't looking, let me try again. Maybe. It's okay, um, it's okay if we um, do jellyfish. Yes, let me show you jellyfish. Okay, here's jellyfish, watch this. Everybody pause. So it's a smile, a fingerprint smile. Right? With my finger, now watch. Now, ha wait, watch me, don't look away. Watch me do it first. And then wiggly worms for tentacles. Wiggly worm. We already learned wiggly worms. They eat jellyfish too. So this is like a little black rainbow with my finger so I don't have to paint it twice. And then I already learned how to make wiggly worms when I made coral. How cute is that, right? And they don't all have to be the same lengths as it. Uh, look at, I, I went back and made my, my I'm going to make my fish's faces pointy. Question. CDs, you're frozen. There you are. Say it again. I missed it again. Okay. Um, did you finish? Or can you come back and finish later? Just put the lids on all your paints so they don't dry out. And when you wash your paintbrushes, rinse them and check them with a paper towel and make sure there's no color in them. Because color is plastic and plastic dries hard. Does that make sense? So they have to be nice and clean if you want to use them again. Bye. Who thinks you have to do two coats on your turtle? I feel like black is a see-through color. It's kind of annoying me. I paint my turtle and then it starts drying and I can see through it. Can I just paint it twice? Yeah. I paint it twice. Because you know what? Wherever you put a paint not very thick, it's thinner and you can see through it. So I'm like, oh, painting, painting, painting. I go fast when I'm not near the sides because, you know, as long as I have a good outline and I slow down around the edges, I'm fine. But watch it dry and then I'd be like, what? I can see through my turtle? No. I might have to paint it twice. I can, look it, if I hold it up, even right now. What is, I can see, the, what? I painted it. So how come it shows through? Because it wasn't as thick right there. So could I put two coats on? Sure. But how much you want to bet when you put your outline on, you did it nice and thick. I'm going to put another jellyfish. Whose idea was jellyfish? You're so cute and creative. I'm going to get a poke of my finger and put another jellyfish here. Because I think he's chasing jellyfishes. Rainbow. It's a rainbow. Eduardo, yeah, I didn't hear it. It was Sophia that came up with that. Uh, jellyfish? Uh, jellyfish. Good idea. And then, oh, I almost used the big paintbrush for jellyfish. That would have been a disaster. Now, any wiggly words? Oh, my paintbrush landed in the paint and it's all slimy. <sighs> Gross. Who did a nice smooth outline for your for your turtle? Doesn't it come out better when there's a nice smooth outline? Then you fill it in. Who's done? Who feels done? Who feels like this came out better than you thought it would? 
Remember when you saw the painting and you're like, no, there's no way I could do this? Yeah, I thought that too. And then, and then you do it and you're like, oh, because I didn't do everything at once. I did one tiny part at a time. I could do that. Because this is Earth, and on Earth you can only learn by doing, which means you just kind of wing it and go, all right, I'll try. And then it comes out good, and you're like, wow, I didn't know I was so good at that. I think I want more fish. Who's making more fish? You guys are making good fish. Not too much black in your painting. Remember, we love the blue. Don't fill the whole thing with animals. Because the whole painting gets darker and darker, right? Who's got an ugly smudge? Could we turn our ugly smudge into an animal? You could. Like an accident, like what a spot that you don't love. And you're like, well, then I'm going to have to put an animal right there. And so it's a, uh, oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to make another jellyfish. Rainbow finger. And then wiggly worms. Wiggly worm, wiggly worm, wiggly worm. Tiniest paintbrush. Oh, I have to finish coral. Grasses. Grasses. I'm filling it in with grass because they're easiest. <laughs> There's Spooky Gonzalez, my grasses. Up, 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 up. There. Oh, I don't like this one. It looks like a dead tree. I'm going to put something on that. Maybe give it just another branch, you know? They're not gonna look so dead. Well, you couldn't see crabs. They would just look like a rock, right? You know, and it would just be a bump on the ground. So I wouldn't, they would just be, yeah, that's my bump. It's supposed to be a crowd. No, no, nobody cares. Oh, let me stand it up. Now I'm done. Let me see. Now I'm looking for holes. Like, I wish I put something there. I went around and added some more things around. And then when I'm done and I feel good about it, I can rest. You know when the turtle, look at how see-through my turtle is. I think I'm going to do a second coat real quick. Just real quick. I'm going to repaint it, but I'm going to go slow near the outlines because I worry. I'm going to touch, touch. I'm just going back over all these weird see-through places. I must not have had as thick paint right there, but I could just smush on some more smush. Smush, smush, smush. Oh, goodbye, white things peeking through. Get out of here. Oh, I just bullied. I just bullied the white parts. Rude. Okay. Second coat was better. Look at it. That's so much better. I got rid of all those weird white things. They were trying to peek through on my painting. There. See? It's all smooth. It doesn't have any white. Uh, what's that? Oh, I did. I could see that little white spot through the pit paint through the camera, but not in real life. Oh. So it feels good about it. Remember when we started and you were like freaky and I was go put lots of white paint and you were like, what, what? And then by the time we were doing the last section, your brain was like, oh, cause we're going to add the blue, right? But you didn't, you had to trust me to tell you what's going to happen, right? And you're just like, what? And then it comes out and you're like, wow, good job. Who still has homework to do today? Oh, well, luckily it's only 4.30. It's not too late. Is it math? Math is fun because those are puzzles that can be solved. You know, you can always get the right answer. With English and other subjects, you can't always get the perfect answer. It's so tricky. But with math, you can trust yourself to keep doing it till the answer comes out right. Evelyn, you have to do your turtle still, huh? Do a nice, thick, smooth outline of your turtle, and the fill-in part will come out good. Good. 
Who's more proud of it than they thought they were going to be? I know, right? And look how you fast you learn coral. Who had a really ugly coral, the first one? And the second one was like, made more sense. How come? Because you have a human brain. And that's how it is here. So too bad for you. Because if, if you, if you know how bees, when they're born, they already know how to be a bee, right? Do they learn? So we're like, oh, I, everything a human would like to know, you have to do it. So if you would like to know how to be better with your anger, you're going to have to do some anger and then learn. So you know who you need to thank? Your siblings. Because who makes you more mad than your brother or your sister, right? So you say, thank you for helping me practice my anger. Because without you, I wouldn't be as good at it. Because I learned how to control my emotions because I practice them, right? So like, I don't know how to do this. And then you'll get a chance to practice and then you understand it. Yeah. Who wants to write their name on the back and paint? This one I want you to check before you flip it over. Is it too shiny that it will smear? Right? Just be careful when you tip it so it's not touching anything really. Like leaning up against the tip back. Don't, don't, you know. And then you could try to write your name in paint. It's very hard because it's not a pen. And you can only get like one letter for every poke, right? So my name's Pixie, so I can write a P. Look how dry it gets so fast. And oh, is it going to be backwards for you? Oh, well. And then, and I poke and get more paint for the next letter. I. Then I poke and get more paint because this dry, it soaks up all the paint. And then I put there and then I have to get more paint every letter otherwise they're see-through and then what year is it two zero two one two oh I almost tried to draw the zero without getting more paint and then how do you wash your paint brushes You rinse them gentle, 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 and just keep squeezing them with a paper towel to you sure no more color comes out because the color is plastic, and that's why they dry hard because the, the plastic dries. See how you have to get paint every time? It's so weird to make a letter. Well, you guys did a really, really good job. Congratulations. I'm so proud.